today we are going to deal with the topic diversion headworks it include the components and the functions of the components this is a typical diversion headwork in this figure all the components are marked the main components of diversion headwork include wear or a barrage divide ball fish ladder approach channel scouring slices silt excluder or silt control devices canal head regulator river training works firstly we are going to deal with wear or the barrage which is the first component of a diversion headwork a wear a wear is a solid obstruction placed across the river and a barrage is practically a low wear with an adjustable gate over this low wear the main function of a wear is to raise the water level so that water can be diverted from the canal to the crop field due to difference of head the next component is the divide wall this is a divide wall the divide wall is a long wall constructed at a right angle to the weir or barrage it may be constructed with a stone masonry or cement masonry the function of divide wall is to separate the under sluice portion from the weir proper portion to increase the effectiveness under sluice portion to prevent the cross current and flow parallel to the weir divide wall incidentally acts as one of the side wall of the fish ladder to isolate the pocket upstream of the head regulator and uh, to facilitate the scouring operation the next one is the fish ladder the fish ladder is provided just by side of the divide wall for the movement of fishes rivers are important sources of the fishes there are various type of fish in the river the nature of fish varies from type to type but the in general the tendency of fish is to move from upstream to downstream in winter and from downstream to upstream in monsoon this movement is essential for their survival their function of the fish ladder is to provide just side by side of the divide wall for the free movement of the fishes the next component is the under sluices under sluices are the openings provided at the base of the weir or barrage these openings are provided with the adjustable gates normally the gates are kept closed the suspended sill goes on the depositing in front of the canal head regulator when the silt deposition became appreciable the gates are open and the deposited silt is loosened with an agitator mounting on the board the muddy water flows towards the downstream side though the scouring sluices the gates are closed but at the end of the period of flood the gates are kept open the functions of under sluices include to preserve a clear and defined river channel approaching the regulator to control the silt entry into the canal to scour the deposited silt in the river bed above the approach channel to help in passing low floods without dropping the shutters of the main weir to provide additional waterway for the flood and thus lowering the flood levels the next important one is the canal head regulators a structure which is constructed at the head of the canal regulator to regulate the flow of water is known as canal head regulator the function of canal head regulator is to supply the water entering the canal it to prevent the river flood from entering the canal the entry of silt into the canal is controlled silt get deposited in the pocket and only the clear water enters into the regulator base the next one is the silt excluder or the silt control devices entry of silt into the canal 
which takes off from a head work can be reduced by constructed certain special works called silt control works. Works may be classified into two types, silt excluder or silt ejectors. The silt excluder are those works which are constructed on the bed of the river upstream of the head regulator. Clearer water enters the head regulator and silted water enters the silt excluder. In this type of work, the silt is therefore removed from the water before it enters the canal. The main function is the removal of water, the silt, removal of silt from the water before it enters the canal. The next one is the river training works. River training works mainly include marginal bunds and guide banks. The marginal bunks are constructed for following purposes. It prevents the flood water or storage water from entering the surrounding area. It remains the flood water or storage water within a specified section. It protects the town and villages from devastated during the heavy flood. It protects valuable agricultural lands. The function of guide bank are to protect the river from the effect of scouring and erosion. It controls the tendency of changing the course of river. It controls the velocity of flow near the river. Once again, we can explain about the major functions of um, the diversion components of diversion headwork. Uh, the function of weir. Uh, the main function of weir is to raise the water level so that water level can be diverted. Then uh, the divide wall. Uh, the main function of the divide wall is to separate the under sluice portion from the weir portion, increase the effectiveness of the under sluice portion and to prevent cross current and flow parallel to the weir. Uh, divide wall incidentally acts as one of the side walls, uh, side walls of the fish ladder etc. These are the main function of the divide wall. Uh, then the scoring sluices. Scoring sluices are clear and defined river channel approaching the regulator. It controls the silt entry. It controls the silt entry and uh, it uh, scores the silt deposited in the riverbed above the approach channel. It helps uh, pass passing of low flood without dropping the shutters. That is the function of the uh, Then the canal head regulator. Canal head regulator regulate the flow of the water then these are the marginal embankments these marginal embankments uh, prevents the flood water and the storage water from entering the surrounding area and uh, the guide bank the guide bank protects the barrage the guide bank protects the barrage uh, um, and from the effect of scoring and erosion, it controls the tendency of changing of course of the river. These are the main components in a diversion headwork. Thank you.